We are now going to install Visual C Sharp Express, which will allow you to create WPF and console applications. To do this, go to microsoft.com slash express. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll find a box that says Windows. Click on Learn More. And then in this fine print here, you'll see Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. Go ahead and click that. You will then be able to choose your language, choose English, try, try again, and save the file, which will be this one, to your hard drive anywhere. I'm in Firefox right now. I do right click, open. It should be similar in Explorer or Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Go ahead and accept the installation. And it will install. This may take a minute or two. And note that this is a free Visual Studio piece of software. Visual Studio, the standard version, allows you to create websites and Silverlight applications and WPF and console applications all in one. But if you're using the free versions, then you'll be using two pieces of software. And as I stated, this is the editor that allows you to create WPF and console applications. And the one that I use the most in this video to show you the fundamentals of C Sharp. So that's why we need to install that and click here next. And accept the license terms. You also want to install SQL Server 2008 Express. That'll be good when you learn Link to SQL, for instance and install and now comes time to wait you'll be waiting 10 minutes perhaps 30 minutes perhaps an hour depending on the speed of your cpu and internet connection so lean back go have a cup of coffee and come back when everything is installed so my installation took about 12 minutes and everything was finished it did finish with one error which was that it couldn't install the SQL Server 2008 service pack, but it said it would create a link on my hard drive to install it, which I'm going to do here. So if you encounter that, just go ahead and start it so that it installs the service pack on top of the SQL Server 2008 Express as well. I'll let this install here which should be pretty straightforward. Let's see here. So repair, download, and it's going to be installing for a while. So that's what you have to do if you get an error that the SQL Server 2008 service pack did not install correctly. Then go get another cup of coffee and come back when this installation is finished. So halfway through this installation, it wants me to restart the computer. So if that happens to you, just make sure you close all your applications and click restart now and keep following the instructions. So after rebooting, I get this window that it is still installing and it may take another minute or two. I find in general it's with um, installing Visual Studio Express and the database and .NET and everything else that needs to be installed. If there are any problems that it has, the best thing to do is to just keep installing it and restarting it. It usually has to do with the order that things are installed or that you have some kind of application that created some version of SQL database um, that is incompatible and it needs to delete it and then reinstall or something of that sort. So the main thing is, is to just keep installing things until it works on your particular computer. So I'm going to let this install. So there we have it, everything installed correctly. My experience with installing the Express Visual Studio software is that you just need to keep on installing, repairing, etc. If anything goes wrong during the installations, and it almost always works. Otherwise, go to stackoverflow.com and ask a question there. So now that everything is installed, let's open up the Start menu and find the software that was just installed, which is Microsoft's Visual C Sharp Express, which I do not see in the menu here. 
If that's the case and you have Windows 7, you can search for it here with Express. I believe Vista does this too. Or you can search for it on if you have XP. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do that too. In any case, it is installed. I'm going to help it here by pinning it to the taskbar and clicking here. And you will see that the first time that it starts, it takes about 10 seconds to start. Actually, it had started before, so now it's immediate. Let this be a lesson that when you install the Express versions of Visual Studio, they have so much to install as prerequisites that you just have to keep trying until you persevere. And at some point, everything will be installed as we see it here. Let's do a little project to make sure it is not only installed, but works. Click on new project. Uh, we'll do a console application. We'll call it appropriately test, enter, and it creates a new console application, type CW, and press tab twice for console write line. I wanna write test, and then wait for a key press, read line, there we go, and run it, and there we have it. Microsoft Visual C Sharp, 2010 Express is installed and works correctly.